Daniel. Quite the story indeed. Matthew Broker, a British journalist, has been living in Hong Kong for more than 25 years, wrote a story that was published in Bloomberg, A Farewell to the Hong Kong I Loved. And he tells a lot that has changed, you know, in the time that he's lived there. And at the end, he kind of says, as sad as this is, I really don't think the Chinese will crush the Hong Kong spirit. And then he says, he says, the soul of Hong Kong, which I associate with an outward looking attachment to universal values of freedom, individual dignity, and justice. Now by dignity here, doesn't he mean food, shelter, healthcare handed out by the taxpayers? I mean, isn't that exactly opposite of freedom and justice for everyone? It's, it's, uh, you know, it, forget about Hong Kong for a minute. If any country or culture was based on freedom, justice, and give me free stuff, uh, aren't they doomed to failure? I'm not sure he's talking about the free stuff here. So I'd have to research how, dig how they use the word dignity in, let's say, British culture. But my sense is that he means dignity as rule of law, treating people as equals, um, equals in a, in a good sense, in the political sense, in the sense of no matter where you come from, no matter who you are, you're a human being, right? Mm. And I think importantly, because think about what's associated with dignity, even today to some extent, it's work is associated with dignity. The opportunity to work, the opportunity to make a living, the opportunity to have dignity and honor in your own life, so I, I'm maybe spinning this a little benevolently in terms of what I think he means. And I think, I think I'm doing that because of knowing people in Hong Kong, right? And, and, mm -hmm. and, and knowing the people of Hong Kong. And they're not, I mean, the young people, put aside the young people. Young people, unfortunately, are much more inclined towards a welfare state type system in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. um, there's a whole generation that's being brought up just like here and everywhere else on at universities and schools with a leftist agenda. But, but in, uh, in, um, in the people I know in Hong Kong, the older generation and, and maybe more of the liberty minded young people, there's a certain love of the fact that people come there as immigrants with nothing and, and the dignity is that they get a job and they can earn a living and they can live well. It's not handouts. Handouts are the anti-dignity. So, I, I, you know, I don't know what this guy means, but, but I, that's how I think of Hong Kong. That's what I think Hong Kongers mean by, by dignity. Yeah, okay. You know, and, and it may have been just the, the tinges I got from him from early other things he wrote in the article about, you know, uh, here's one I can find real quickly, which finally brought in a minimum wage in 2010. And, you know, there, there's other things that he, he talks about that I thought he was handed towards the handouts, but maybe I'm being unfair. with. So maybe he is, maybe he is uh, one of those more leftists, you know, who complained bitterly about her poverty in Hong Kong and poverty in, you know, and, and not enough handouts and we don't do enough. There are handouts in Hong Kong. There is a, a, a small safety net. There is a minimum wage, although it's low. But it's, and, and, you know, the free market people in Hong Kong always complain bitterly about regulations and controls and all this stuff. And I used to laugh at them saying, you know, you think that's bad. You, you don't know what it's like elsewhere in the world. Uh, they're the most economically free place in the world. And they were complaining about regulations and controls, which they're right to do because one regulation control is too much. So, and, and redistribution is too much, but, but that's, but the people I know valued freedom and, um, and would be horrified by, by the idea. But certainly the intellectuals in Hong Kong are just like intellectuals everywhere. And, and maybe this author is the same way. And, and that's, it's sad. But that's, that's the fight we're in constantly, right? It's that mm -hmm. there's almost nobody on our, there are very few intellectuals on our side. Very few. Thank you. Thanks, Daniel. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. 
meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs> 